What's up, what's up, what's up, my fellow Libras? Welcome, guys. I hope you're having a beautifully, phenomenally blessed day. Thank you for joining me for a moment in Becky's House of Cards. Please like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel down below. Set that notification bell so you always know when the next video does go live. Guys, just know that is a free way to support the channel. It also helps me connect with your energy directly so that I can get you out more resonating readings. Also, if you're interested in supporting the channel even further, check out the description box down below. The links are all there. Or if you are interested in getting a personal reading, the directions are also listed in the description box for you guys. So that being said, today we are going down the rabbit hole with messages from source. So whatever messages come through, this is for you guys. Just keep in mind these are general readings, so take what resonates and leave what does not. Also, guys, I just want to thank you to my OGs, my new Gs, and anybody that allows me your most precious asset, your time. It is truly an honor, a blessing, and a pleasure being here, giving you guys these videos, these messages, and my prayer, as always, is that they fall upon your hearts in a way that remind you to use your intuition and your discernment to take back your power and to make the decisions that best serve your highest journey in this now moment. And without further ado, we'll go ahead and get into it. Um, I do just want to say right off the bat, though, trigger warning. Uh, these have been very telling, these videos. And so if you guys get triggered easily, I'm just putting a warning out right away. So to start with, um, Source did have a message saying that you guys have kind of been stuck in your head feeling like, what's the point of doing anything anymore? Like you guys have tried it. And it hasn't really shown any effort or any any proof, I guess, is the thing. It's like you put in this effort and there's no proof yet. And it's like Source just wants to remind you that that's a part of the process. There's moments when you feel like you're going to give up everything, right? And it's like you're just ready to just throw in the towel. Like, I can't do this anymore. And that's those are the moments when our faith is tested. And that's why this happens. Because it's to see how serious you are about your faith in the divine are you willing to trust no matter what even when things don't look like they're going your way like that's a huge portion of that and so that was the message that source wanted to bring out right away so source what messages do you have for our libra friends how can we help them out what else do they need to hear at this time what messages do you have for them at this time okay i hear one more all right what messages do you have for libra at this time so something is coming, I feel. I don't know exactly what, but I do feel like something is coming. And it's just why I don't know what is because it's different for each of you guys. So it could be love, money. It could be that, you know, that thing that you've been waiting to... I was going to say manifest and the magician turned right over. So interesting. Yeah, something is coming. We've got the knight of swords in the reverse and we've got the magician in the upright. <laughs> oh, Libra. So right now you guys are stuck in your head because, yeah, it's it's exactly what I was saying. Like you feel like you manifested a lot of failures in your life and you feel like like that's all that you're going to get is situations that are not for you. It's like the, it's like, is it always going to be a healing process? Like, isn't there anything that I can actually enjoy and it's like the more that you focus on the negative of your journey, the more negative that you're going to get. Rather, can you focus on the fact that you did learn valuable lessons from those situations that you encountered? You did learn truths about yourself. You did learn how to be compassionate in your life and to take charge in your life, even if it wasn't easy. And it's like this is when when the Knight of Swords comes out. My bad, guys. I'm sorry. I've got my charger plugged in here. I'm trying to keep this. There we go. Hopefully that works. Um, this is that energy of, you know, you're, you're conceited because of your emotional ego. It's not because you're a conceited person. It's just, there are certain beliefs that you have within that no matter what you're going to be conceited when it comes to those beliefs, because they're the root of who you are. And so this is that energy of not wanting to work towards that anymore, because it's like, why should I run towards manifestation when it clearly doesn't work? And that's the, that is your faith being tested. And I feel like for some people, it's like, but people make manifestation look easy. No, what they make look easy is that now you see them manifesting and you didn't see everything that they had to struggle through to get to where they are right now. It's like in your mind, as soon as you stumble upon somebody that's successful, they're successful from the day that you found them forward. 
there's nothing before that. Like you don't see that. Right. And so that's, that's the part that source is saying, like everybody goes through exactly what you're going through right now, Libra. Everybody experiences that it's part of the come up. It's, it's, are you willing to get knocked down, get knocked down and keep standing up? Even when things are hopeless, even when things don't look like they're going in your favor, because that's what faith is. And this is a completion for you. This is one thing that has been really hard for you to overcome. But there's still hope. There's still light at the end of the tunnel. This is about you being willing to change your energy in this, in this now moment. You have the opportunity to stay in a negative mindset or you can look at the positive side right now. Think about all your blessings, be grateful for those blessings and move forward and do what it is that you know you need to do because you are manifesting, you are in manifestation energy and understanding the more you focus on negativity, the more you're going to manifest that into your life. There's definitely a sense of coming to an end here though. Yeah, so this could be, so I did say for some of you guys, it was love. Others of you, it's money, it's material things. This could be spirituality. Maybe it's just getting in touch with that inner being, right? But this is like being committed to your journey is the first thing that I heard when this came out. And it's it's like being committed to the fact that things are going to work out for you. Like, are you willing to stay in that energy? Are you willing to come into that knowing that even if you can't see it with your two eyes, you feel it with your heart? His source hasn't forsaken you. It's just that when you're manifesting, it's not like for us, we're so fixated on the time it takes. Gosh, it takes forever. Gosh, it seems like I've been doing this for forever. But for source, it's like in the blink of an eye because source doesn't think in sense of time. Source thinks in sense of are you open to receive the blessing, right? And that's why it takes people time to manifest, especially people who are new to the journey. Because it means uncovering blockages that have been years and years and years in the making. It's not anything wrong with you. It's just that when you when you have a negative mindset, right, and you refuse to change, like the five of wands coming out, we have two fives here together. Did you see how the deck just split like that? That is so weird. So yeah, we have this energy of bringing yourself into a completion by changing. You know, the five of wands, when it's in the upright, it's talking about even though things seemingly have got out of balance and they've fallen apart and it looks like everything is just falling down in front of you, that you will still find your truth. You'll still be able to find yourself. Okay. And then the, the Pope is this energy of being somebody that's a leader, you know, and 10 is definitely leadership energy, right? It's like you have this ability to be a leader, but you first must experience how to heal that because when you have a person who comes to you and asks you for assistance, you know, you have to be able to say, hey, you know, that was kind of like when I had to go through this. And it's not about you. It's about showing them that you understand that they're struggling, right? Like to change any aspect of your life is still a struggle. And so in order to help others do that, in order to help those who wish to be helped, you have to have an ability to, to empathize with them, but not just because you're an empathic person. This is to empathize with them in the level of like, you understand what they're going through because you had to experience it first, you know, and that's what's going on here. It's like you're this definitely your faith is being tested here. Like this is an interesting spread. <laughs> interesting. What else does Libra need to know, Source? What else does Libra need to know? Yeah, we've got the the King of Wands coming out in the reverse. So what you're not seeing is that you're you're in an energy of self-sabotage without realizing it. Right? Like it's like so I keep getting this image of and guys, we're all guilty of this. I am too. Don't even trip chocolate chip, okay? I promise. <laughs> Uh, it's when, you know, like we all have Netflix, we all have streaming, right? And you stop watching streaming and you go and you're, you're going hard on your journey. And then it seems like nothing is happening. And so you just kind of like step back and you get stuck on watching shows again. Right. And I've done this. I still do this guys. It's a human thing. It's cool. Okay. But there's, there's something to this, right? 
So it's like you get stuck and then you fall back into this old routine of just sitting down and watching TV. Like no matter what, as soon as you come in, you turn on the TV. As soon as you, you know, have nothing to do, you turn on the TV rather than focusing on what it is that you want to do and what it is that you're building. And what Source is saying is that that's okay. Like that's part of being in this 3D world is to experience the 3D stuff. Like that's what we have to do is a 3D being. You know, but again, it's that spirituality of things that's asking us to step into faith and have faith that things are going to work out for us. So it's like, even though you have those moments, you know, not beating yourself up is so vital here and not being angry at, at others who seemingly are doing better than you, right? Because it's making you feel like you haven't done what you needed to do. It's like you're exactly where you're meant to be in this now moment, but it's difficult sometimes to see because right here with this king of wands in reverse is like focusing truly on the 3d aspect and what you're seeing with your two eyes and it's like that's the passion that's where the passion is the desires the wants are lying at and so i mean this could be sex it could be money it could be materialistic things like but at the end of the day when you have the king of wands here in the reverse this is you being your own worst enemy this is you being the one that's stopping your forward progression because you're getting stuck in the past. And if you look, the magician and the king of wands almost look like the same person. And you can't tell, but this ha this guy has a similar face, right? But you can't tell because his hair is covered up. He's going into battle. It's like you're battling these past beliefs, right? And, and somehow hoping that things are going to work out rather than taking action like if this king of wands had come up in the upright it would be like taking action towards what it is that you want and knowing that it's going to come out again the faith aspect is being tested yeah because you want happiness you want expansion but you're just anxious right now you definitely want to have some sort of happiness like a home happiness maybe you're trying to earn money in an unconventional way. But yeah, there's definitely an illusion here with your money and anxiety with material things. Like even with your faith, like it's like maybe you said, I'm going to manifest a million dollars by the end of the year or something like that. And so now you're just focusing on what, how's it going to happen? What's going to do? What's going to get that for me? Like, I don't think I'm worth that. Do you see what I'm saying? It's like those thought processes that are keeping you in this negative energy. And that's, what's keeping you away from manifesting what you want and your happiness. So whether that's an extended family or having a, a lover in your life, whatever it is, just it doesn't matter because everybody's in a different part in their life wanting different things. What matters here is that whatever it is that you're going towards, right, you have your back turned towards because you're so concerned about how things are going to manifest for you. And Source is just asking you, can you have a little bit of faith? You know, I feel like you've gotten definite signs. You've gotten energy of showing you that source exists, but there's still, are you willing to step off the, the wall and let source catch you? It's not easy, right? Look at that. The seven of wands coming out again, again in the reverse. Yeah, this is causing you great, great mental strife. Like this is, this is hurting you. And there's a need to ground your energy here. I feel like you're so stuck in your head right now that you're kind of in this fight, like flighty mode. And for you, you guys are ruled by the heart naturally because air is the element of the heart chakra and you guys are air. And also you guys are the rulers of the mind, right? Because your air, any of your swords cards are intelligence cards. And so that's the ruler of the mind. But if you look here, it's like you have your mind and you're kind of like not tending to your mind you're not tending to how you feel your emotions what you're attending to is what action can I take to quickly manifest material things into this world and it's like you're you're missing the greatest lesson here and that's the ability to truly honor where you're at on the journey and to honor how you feel and what you've experienced up until this now moment and heal from that because it feels like you're carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders. It really does. Yeah, you're exhausted. You're exhausted. And you want to complete this cycle. Right? Again, being stuck in your head. Like being, this is just emotionally spent. Like you're, you're giving so much to everyone else and not enough to yourself. 
And then you're also focused on other people who seemingly are doing better than you. And you're not focused on what you can do. And they're just saying you have to bring your energy back to yourself. Like again, cutting yourself off from this energy. You have all single people out here. And this card actually has four beings outside. It's like you are being guided, but it's like right now, instead of listening to your guidance, you're focused more on everything outside of you. And that's what's bringing you into this energy of being exhausted. And it's interesting because I, I do usually say this and I didn't and I don't know why, but I always get the energy of the world card with this magician card, right? Because it comes through with this little, this little weed right here whatever it looks like the world card to me for some reason it has always since i've first got this deck and it's like the completion comes once the manifestations like as soon as the completion comes a manifestation comes through so instead of focusing on how exhausted you are complete the cycle and focus instead on why are you so exhausted right like not that I am so exhausted. Focus on why am I so tired? Like, what is it that's draining my energy? What am I focusing too much on? What is causing me strife? What's causing me grief? What's causing me heartache? What's ha causing me hurt? We have the Ace of Swords coming out reversed. Source clarifying exactly what was going on right now as well. And then that, again, that conceited energy coming through here. Misguided energy. Really, truly in your head about whatever it is, you know, I keep getting this sense of money, material things. It's like the faster I manifest my material things, the quicker than I can like stab people in the back. And I'm sorry, I'm not calling you a backstabber or anything like that. It's just this energy of being like, ha ha, I haven't told you guys that I was right. Like, you know, it's just kind of like this, this retaliation that it's coming and source is telling you like, there's again, this is a healing aspect for you. I'm trying to give you a gift to move you forward, but instead you're 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 using this gift and trying to figure out what you can do to pay back the people who've hurt you from the past. And it's not even about that. It's not about that. It never has been. Imbalanced. Focused on worldly things. Again, I'm getting sex with this card. It's interesting because this card's not related to sex at all. It was coming through the feeling lost, feeling defeated, feeling hurt, and not knowing why, not knowing why, and feeling like there's someone else beside you to blame, and it's not about playing the blame game, but it's just like, you're like, this has nothing to do with me, this is because of everybody else outside of me, but it's because you're so concerned with how everybody views you. And if I know a Libra, I know Libras like to be loved, love to be loved, love to be showered in luxury, love to be seen as very, like, just respected and highly, you know, just highly loved. Like, there's this energy. And my grandma was a Libra, guys, and just, she was so friendly with everybody. She would give and give and give and, and just, just a crazy energy, right? And I love Libras. I really do. But just to see how hurt it was in the end, like how she gave so much to people and no one could return that favor to her. You know, I say that a lot with cancers too, or like that. Being ruled by the heart chakra, though, it's very easy for you guys to get hurt in life and to close off your heart chakra. Yeah, something about being in a stable family home. But feeling like you missed the mark somewhere and trying to control the outcome. Look at that. We have the king of wands again in the reverse. This is a this is a pair here. This is an upset pair. And then no. We have the Pope coming out again, but this time in the reverse. This was a math the mismatched marriage. I see. I see you guys were in a very harsh relationship. And what happened is that you took the high road and this other person didn't. And you realize that you were both toxic to each other. Like, it's it's not a bad thing, but it's like, at this point, it's like you're still reliving this over again. And you're wondering why it didn't work out. 
but regardless here, it's like you realize the toxic pattern and you, you're trying to move away. And that's why you're trying so quickly to manifest stability because it's like something happened within this connection that this person made you feel like you couldn't do what you wanted to do or like you couldn't survive without them. And I think they kept telling you like, well, but we're together, like we're, we're official. And you didn't want, like you didn't, you didn't want to put any more into it. It's like, I'm done. I'm done doing what society says I need to do. And so I don't feel like you're trying to manifest love. I feel like this is really, truly like you trying to manifest material wealth just so that you can a maybe run away from the situation or the second thing is is that you can just kind of be the person that rubs it in you know and and we that's part of this this journey I went through it myself and that was a huge portion of my emotional ego I had to shed so just understanding guys it's just a part of the journey there's no reason to be upset about it and there's no reason to like you know again I'm not here pointing like the finger like oh no like hell no like that's just a part of us all having to overcome those societal beliefs like people are they're a reflection of their bankroll and that's 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 kind of like this energy it's like you really feel like as a reflection on your bankroll but you're you're missing the fact that there's an illusion here we have seven eight nine coming out together here guys it's like making progress but at what cost right now because it's like you're kind of jetting all over the place in your progress and this is a karmic cycle. So I feel like with the king and queen of wands coming out together with the hierophant, it's like you guys are in a situation that's no longer working. It hasn't been working for a long time. If you guys have gotten out, I'm proud of you guys because I bet that took a lot of courage, a lot of courage. And for those of you that haven't, it's like I'm sending you wishes and well wishes to get that courage to do what's best for you. If it's to stay, fine. If it's to leave, great. It's 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 not about being right or wrong here. This is about doing what is right for you, okay? But just the more that you realize, the more that you observe your own actions, right? Because again, right now, it's like, it's like when I get the money, then I'll make sure that I'm happy. When I'm stable and have a house on my own, then I'll make sure that I'm happy. But see, that's the thing is once you get that, then there's going to be a new win, that rises. So now it's like you have the house and the money. Now it's when I find love, I'm going to be happy. You see what I'm saying? Like it will never be enough. Rather, when you take the time to focus on your emotions and your mindset, right? Your mindset's in the reverse here. When you take the time to focus on your emotions and your mindset, then you can bring yourself into a place of happiness and bliss. And all of that other stuff becomes easy. You don't have to think about it. You just know I'm going to show up and I know that Source is going to be there for me. But it's like trying to force Source into proving that it exists. It's like basically like if you exist, Source, then you're going to give me a million dollars by the end of the week. Like, like that is not how it works. If it did work like that, there would be far more people on this journey than there are. Yeah, what did I say? Controlling it. And we have the Eight of, coin, or the eight of Swords here. And the Upright, all about control. <sighs> yeah, you're trying to control the outcome. Again, coming through with this is a karmic situation. This is something that's been repetitive, not only in your life, but in your family's life. And it's time for you to let go. Yeah, to balance your energy, to heal. Like we've got the five of, of wands coming out in the upright, followed by, look at this, no. So here's the deal, guys. Like you have this energy. It's like healing your energy so that you can overcome and get beyond this imbalance that you've experienced in your life. It has to do with romantic frustrations and it's all by setting your boundaries, right? It's all about setting your boundaries, but you're broken hearted right now and you don't want to deal with that, but they're telling you to rush in and you need to communicate with yourself. That's what you need to rush in to do is communicate with yourself. How do you feel about this situation and not lie to yourself? Like, don't be, don't feel bad if you're like, you know, this person really fucked up, this person, you know, like cursing at them and stuff like that, get it out. Because if you get it out, then you're no longer hoarding it inside of you. And that's creating even more anxiety and strife. See, we have kindness coming out on the bottom number 12, which is three. Your angels are with you. The number of creation, you can create the life that you want. But being kind and being clever on your journey, right? It's like not about being 
mean and ruthless. It's not about getting back at another person. This is truly about being kind and compassionate. It's like if somebody's treating you a certain way, can you pull back at the way you feel about the situation and remember that the only reason they would treat you that way is if they first got treated like that? Does it make it right? No. No, it doesn't. But it's not a real reason to blame somebody else for their own actions, especially when they've experienced that with their own life. Because that's going to bring you into a state of moving. You don't know what's around the bend, and that's why you're afraid to move right now. Because it's like, if I actually take this leap of faith, then, then what's next? It's like having to know every step along the way. And that's what's the beauty of Source is like, there's no knowing like we don't know we just don't know and i wish i could tell you you know what the next step is going to be this and it's, no because even if i did know like this is the thing i think that people forget even if i did know you could make a choice today that would change that whole situation tomorrow right that's the beauty of free will if nothing is really destined there are some things that are faded that we're meant to go through sure because we have to grow from them right but how they happen really, I think, is up to us and the decisions that we make. So it's like if you were in an abusive relationship and you were like, if I'd only said no to him, it's like, fine, you could have said no to him or to her. OK, I don't know. Whoever's watching, I'm not biased by any means. So you would have said no to them, then things would have been better for you. But it's like you would have said no to them, but then you would have said yes to somebody else who would have fulfilled that necessity in your life you see what i'm saying like it's it's like we have to understand that source has a much larger picture than we could ever ever even imagine and i think that's why people think that source is some cruel being up there laughing their asses off at us like oh haha ha, they had to go through that no <coughs> what has happened is that we've come into a state where nobody knows how to use their intuition and in that energy, we're all fighting our own journey. And so it's like these things that are fated to happen to us are all meant just to bring us back to connection with ourselves. And that's the sad thing. It's like, well, but that seems cruel. Why can't we just be? And it's like, that's because we all have free will. We come into a world of free will. And if people are stuck in the 3D, we're going to learn how people are in the 3D. And that's the lessons we have to overcome. It's like a round robin, no matter how you look at it. It's not for cruelty. It's because the world needs healing and we all have to do our part. That's how it is. We have number eight again coming out. Eight being a huge number. Eight, eight, eight right here, guys. We have sea turtle stability. And for me, sea turtles always represent prosperity. These guys are resilient too. They lay eggs on the beach. They crawl from the beach to the to the ocean and then you know they come back later it's like memory it's like remembering who you are right like this is remembering where you came from again with the faith it's so interesting that this is coming out right now because we've never actually gotten this energy off of this but that's what's that's what i heard right now was remembering your home and that's the thing when sea turtles they never visit the beach that they were from again right like they swim back years and years later to lay eggs and it's like that's the energy that you're coming back home connecting with your inner child there's something about the situation that's happening right now that's trying to connect you with your inner child that's been wounded and that's releasing you from a karmic cycle that has been happening time and time again in your family no, I can't. I say family and turn over the ancestors generational card as I'm talking about generational curses right now. I can't. I love you so, so much. And you guys, you can't, you can't believe this. Okay. Like the, I, I, sometimes I can't, like I can't with these cards. I'm so glad I shuffle on camera and everything because I can't make this stuff up. I can't. Okay. Like this is your ancestors have had a hand in this journey for your life. They're trying to help you unwind from these snakes, these toxic situations. It's not easy. What you're experiencing is not easy, right? But the thing is, is that there is, like, you have this, this uh, Fibonacci sequence on this card, right? And the Fibonacci sequence is all about unfurling. It's actually what the universe was built on was this, this circular motion. Everything is in circles, right? And so the Fibonacci sequence really talks about being able to unfold, unfurl. You think about the fern when it grows out of the ground, it unfurls like this and then it opens up. And that's what you're going through right now. It's like you're unfurling, but that unfurling is probably pretty uncomfortable, right? But it's okay. We've got Milena Trump coming out. 
She says, you never know when you might wake up next to a president. That's why they're saying, like, don't give up. Like, you don't know what's coming, okay? And it's like, I know that sounds weird, but this is a thing. It's like, you don't know what's coming next. So having faith is how you're going to get there. Your ancestors are stepping with you. You're cleaning out karmic cycles. It says, don't betray yourself in favor of your marriage. Exactly. Like, if this is somebody that you're with, don't betray your soul's mission just out of the fact that, oh, well, the... The courts say that we're married and we have to stay together. We saw all those matching cards come out on the bottom of the deck, guys. The King of Wands, the Queen of Wands, and the Pope all in reverse. There's instability there. You have to take charge for yourself. Happiness comes from within. Keep your friends close and your family closer, right? So it's like right now you have to go to the people who you know you can trust because those are the ones that you can rely on in this time. And if that's nobody, then what Source is saying is that you become your family right now so that it opens you up to bring in the family that's meant to be around you, which definitely we have family and this is family energy here with this Eight of Cups in the upright. Okay, thank you, Source. Open up your heart to love. What did I say for you guys? Sometimes it's easy for you guys to get a closed off heart because you're ruled by the heart chakra. Wow, thank you, Source. You've never thrown these out before, so now we are, right? Time to make space for yourself. It's like, yeah, this is falling in love with yourself again, right? We have open your heart to love, time to make space for yourself. Like, you've got these beautiful energies coming through. Okay, I heard stop. They want this one. They don't love you. They only want what you can offer them. So whoever it is that you're with, it's like they're not with you because they love you. They're with you because, I A... You have something that they want. At the end of the day, it's your energy. It's what you have in your bank account. Again, that bankroll energy. And I feel like that's the thing. Or they're seeing you begin to manifest your life, even though you don't. And they're, they want that. And then we have you've given your power away. Yeah, so it's just like this is you bringing your power back, balancing out your energy, fighting for you, completing this cycle. You know, we have temperance is the number 14 card, which is 5-5. Five, five. We have 5-5 five, five coming out again. We had this card come out with that deck with the pulp on the bottom. So it's like you guys are completing something huge in your life. And it's like right now you're about ready to throw the towel in. But Source is saying just keep walking. Your ancestors are asking you to keep walking. Because you guys are about to open up something brand new for yourselves. And it's a beautiful journey, okay? This is what I have for you, Libra. I hope that this helps. Please like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel down below. Set that notification bell so you always know when the next video does go live. And with that being said, until next time, go forth boldly, my fellow Librans, and courageously find creative ways, tries above in life, laughter, and love. Until we meet each other again, peace out. I love you all. Bye.